the most amazing thing just happened while I was vacuuming. And when I, when I vacuum, I like to put on my headphones and listen to uh, some music or often Abraham Hicks. And uh, there was this advertisement that came on uh, as soon as the video started that I chose. Well, actually that chose me. I always seem to put on the first one that YouTube suggests. And uh, it, it really connected with me. It really resonated in terms of um, all of the different points that this person was uh, experiencing or sharing and offering in her program. And um, she talked about being an empath and also about uh, the body-mind connection and her solution or offering that she had was that there um, is something in all of the sort of work that we've been doing um, that's missing. And she sort of had this this connection to put it all together and, and to make the work um, successful in order to solve the traumas that we're experiencing. And so I, um, I signed up for the, the course or the free workshop that she's offering and um, kept vacuuming. <laughs> And then my mind kind of went to work and I remembered something that I had um, sort of had some clarity on a few months ago in terms of, and I know this, but I forget it. And so it's so nice to be reminded of it because it's really uplifting. And and I want to share this so much because I think so much, so many of us are probably in a similar space and it really cycles in and out for me. And And I think the catch is to be able to witness it and and sort of stop it while it's happening. So what is it that's happening? And um, this is what I'm gonna try and explain because it is, it's subtle and it's unseen a lot of the time, but it's so powerful once we're able to witness it and acknowledge it. So what it is, is that I mean, I guess the key part is the reflection bit. And I'm I'm a huge believer in the power of reflection and witnessing what's going on around us in order to educate ourselves about what's happening in our inner landscape that we may not be aware of. So this advertisement and this, um, this offer that this woman was sharing spoke so much to where I am at presently and trying to figure out how to fix something about myself that is holding me back from becoming the person that I want to be in one way or another. There's some sort of trauma or some sort of past life trauma was another um, thing that she was talking about. And once we're able to to solve that, then we can become the people that we want to be. But that's the catch is that's this that's the sticky part is that that is the conversation that we're having that I'm having in my own mind is that something needs to be changed. And so those are the pieces. Those are the reflection pieces that keep coming back to me. And there's all sorts of offers and all sorts of conversations, all sorts of um, enlightenment about how to how to solve that problem in order to move forward and so the belief is that there's a problem that needs to be fixed in order for something to change and then i can become so knowing that knowing that and seeing all these pieces of reflection back to me i'm like oh okay this is the belief that i'm having but i don't need to change that belief I don't there's nothing that in me that needs to be fixed per se it's just the the belief and the things that I'm looking for around me that I'm looking to be reflected back to me is what I can change and I'm completely capable of doing that without fixing anything or out having any sort of epiphany other than the one that I'm having right now and it is such an incredibly powerful space to be in when you realize that the only thing that needs to shift is 
the experience that you're wishing to have. So now this is where the creative and the inspiration and the um, dreaming and the visualization and all of the really fun aspects step in and and you have complete creative license at this point to start manifesting what it is that you want to have happen in your life based on the beliefs that you're having so I'm trying to I'm trying to make this more concrete and it's it's still quite loose in my mind but I know for a fact that it is time for me to let go of all of the all of the stories that I've been telling myself about something needs to change, something needs to change because I could be stuck in that cycle sort of indefinitely and always wanting to change something and always wanting to fix something and always find new trauma and always seeing more shadow work and always experiencing triggers and all of those things which have been beautifully helpful tools for me up until this point. But now that I'm here, I think that there is so much more um, that is accessible to me and to you once we're able to step out of that cycle and and create create something magical I mean it's it's really exciting and I'm just going to pause for a minute because I, I, I want to be able to sit in this energy for a second and I, I hope that it's coming through to you too that we are powerful beyond measure. And I think the first step in this awareness that I'm having right now and that I think that you can um, apply super easily um, after watching this, if you're interested, is to just do an inventory of the conversations of the posts that you see on social media of the ads that come up what are what is what are the offers that are coming at you from other people what are you seeing what videos what songs what are songs saying to you what are what are the conversations what are the words and the energies that are being presented to you today that are that you're that you know that are are that you're taking note of just make a list of sort of the the general concepts and and see what that tells you because what's on that list is going to be reflection of the stories and the inner programming and the inner inner workings of of who you are and what you're manifesting in your life right now and so now that you have that tool this conversation that we're having is also on that list and if you want to have more of this kind of conversation then you know we're off to run and start here and we're going to just keep going with it and see where it takes us because we're going to let go of all the rest of that other stuff that isn't serving us anymore even though you know we're thinking that it is it actually isn't because it's just a sort of a, it's a cycle it's another thing that we're sort of stuck in so we're going to let go of all that we don't even have to worry about what it is anymore we just acknowledge that it's there and then let it go and move on because it's not something to be fixed there's nothing for any of us to fix we just have to be so i uh yeah thanks for letting me capture this while it's coming out and i look forward to what happens next love you <laughs>